Malik Lawal's football aspirations came to a screeching halt once the Chaparral defensive end tore his ACL last spring during a track meet. After being recruited by multiple Division I teams, Lawal wasn't sure how schools would react to the injury. When I was talking to doctors, the way they're putting it in, uh, be careful with colleges because, I mean, this might deter a lot of colleges. And just the fact that, like, this is a serious injury of how big ACL is, like, so, to some people that's a career-ending injury. While some programs still kept in touch with Lawal after the injury, there was one university in particular that was the most passionate in their pursuit, Arizona State. I had a call with Coach Patterson, the linebacker coach over at ASU, and me and him were just on the phone for like a good 15, 30 minutes, and he just said, no matter what happens, ASU will have your back. When Arizona State heard that Lawal had torn his ACL, they got creative with their recruiting by comparing Lawal to all-time ASU great Terrell Suggs. I was ecstatic. And it's just so cool to have someone just like think of that like so highly of me that can be compared to someone who had one of the greatest careers in the NFL. Luol has all the physical and mental tools to be a force in the Pac-12, and his high school coach believes he will take advantage of his opportunity. It's a bummer he's probably not going to play with us this year, um, but his future's bright. He's got a 3.9 GPA. He's very uh, well spoken, you know, and I know Arizona State's uh, extremely excited to have him there. Football isn't the only reason Lawal was attracted to ASU. A quality education is very important to Lawal's goals in life, and ASU boasts the Barrett Honors College, one of the finest of its kind in the nation. When, when football's over, like, it comes down to just what are you going to do with your life? Even when I was a little kid, I just knew education was going to be important growing up, and I needed to get education I wanted to succeed in this life. Just seeing my mom, how she worked to go to many colleges just to get where she's at in life now, being a single mother of three. Education means the most to her, so it means the most to us too. Luol won't take the field with his team this year, but he still plans to help the Pumas win as a player coach. Everybody needs a little hype once in a while, so I just I just give someone a little magic touch. I, I feel like my hands have the magic touch. Shake my hand right before something happens, you're going to make plays. Last year, Malik had 18 tackles for losses to Lee Chaparral. This season, there won't be any. But what he will gain is the strength to overcome a huge obstacle in his life one that he has never faced before. For the CIF Southern Section, this is Mark Mangura from the Cronkite Sports Bureau in Los Angeles.